Welcome to the Vodacall Avaya 1460 end user training video. Our hope here is to show you just how simple using a new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Avaya Quick User Guide for your phone and the Voicemail User Guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like transfer, conference, voicemail setup, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that, if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience when calling you. So let's practice together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the Vodacall Basic Voicemail Guide. The first time you log in, we ask that you dial intercom 777 instead of using the Messages button. This will set up your mailbox. Welcome to Avaya IP Office. For help at any time, press star H. Please enter extension and pound key. Enter your extension number followed by the pound sign. Enter password and pound key. Your default password is pound. Please enter new password and pound key. Your new password needs to be between 4 and 15 digits. Re-enter password and pound key. Changed. As you use a VIA IP office, your name will be included in system announcements that you and other people will hear. Press 1, and at the tone, please speak your name. After speaking your name, press 1 again. Demo phone. Demo phone. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. Demo phone. No new messages. To get messages, press 2. To administer personal greetings, press 3. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is now set up and callers will hear your call has been answered by a via IP office demo phone is not available to leave a message wait for the tone should you want to record a personalized greeting then continue on to the steps in your guide and press 3 for all calls this system greeting active to listen to greeting press 0 to create change or delete a greeting press 1 press 1 Greeting. Not recorded. When finished recording, press pound to approve or 1 to edit your message. Record at the tone. Demo phone. Demo phone. To re-record your name, press 1. To approve, press pound. Should you want to record a personalized greeting, please continue on to the additional steps in your guide by pressing 3. Your mailbox is now set up, and you're ready to make your first call. First, we'll try an internal call. To place an internal call, press either of your two intercom buttons, and then dial the extension number. Or you may page the person by pressing either of the intercom buttons, hitting star, and then dialing the extension number. First, we'll call extension 11. They answer, and we're having a conversation with them. The next thing that we'll do is we'll page over to that person. That opens up a direct channel so that you can begin a conversation with them. To make an external call, simply start dialing the number or choose the line from one of your available lines that you wish to make the call on. You do not need to dial a 9 in order to make a phone call. To answer an incoming call, either lift the handset, press the speakerphone, or press the button that the call is coming in on. When you're on a call and a second call comes in, you will hear a chirp. You'll also see the line flashing that the call is on. Place the first call on hold and answer the second call. To return to the first call, you would place this call on hold, return to the first call, and tell them that you'll need to call them back, you need to take this call, hang up, 
and retrieve your first call. When you're on a call, you can either hang up the speakerphone, place down the handset, or press drop to end the call. To place a call on hold, press the hold button. To retrieve that call, you can either pick up or press the call. Again, drop to end. Now we'll practice transferring a call. First the call comes in and you answer that call. To transfer, you'll press the transfer key and then dial the extension number of the person you're trying to transfer the call to. I'm now speaking with that person. To complete the transfer, I can either hang up, place down my handset, or press complete. You'll see the call has now gone from your phone and the other two parties are now talking. We answer the first call, press transfer, dial the extension of the person we wish to transfer the call to. Once they answer the call, we either hang up the handset, disconnect the speakerphone, or press complete. Now we'll do what's called an assisted transfer. To do an assisted transfer, the call comes in and we answer it. We're now going to announce the call to the person. So same process, press transfer, dial the extension number. When they answer the phone, we announce who the call is for. I have so-and-so on the line for you, would you like to take the call? If they choose not to take the call, you can hit cancel and start speaking to the original party again. If they choose to take the call, again, press complete and that will send the call through. Let's assume they've decided that they didn't want to take this call, so we hit cancel. We're now talking to the person that we were talking to originally, and now we could offer them voicemail. To transfer a call to somebody's voicemail, you press your messages key, and then it asks you what extension you would like. Dial the extension number and hit select, and we've now transferred that call to voicemail. Now let's try a conference call. You can have two internal parties besides yourself on a call, as well as two external parties. Once you have the first party on the line, You'll be able to press the conference key and it will place the first call on hold and allow you to make another call. The first call comes in. We answer that call. We press our conference key. By default, we're given intercom dial tone. If we'd like to dial an external party, choose the line which we want to make the call on and then dial the phone number. Once we have that person on the line, we press conference again and bring the parties together. Now we'll add another call. Press conference, and we'll bring extension 11 into the call. We get them on the line as well, and then we press the conference key again. You'll now see that these calls are on conference. Now that we have all the users on the call, we can press the details information and see who's on the conference call. We can actually scroll through these individuals and either drop someone from the call or mute them if they're making too much noise on the far end. In this particular case, we'll drop Paul and we're still on the call. I can also drop myself from the phone call as long as there's someone else from the organization still on the phone call. You'll see that call is now gone and I can see it there still participating. Let's talk about the buttons on your phone. You have your messages button, which when you press it, gives you something called visual voicemail. When you set up your mailbox, we asked you to dial intercom 777, and that was because that walks you through the process of setting up your voicemail box. When you press your visual voicemail button, it gives you the option to listen to any messages and shows you new, old, and saved. You can scroll down and press the messages key, and that allows you to record a message for somebody else. You can also adjust your greeting as well as record your name, reset your password, and turn your voicemail on and off. We recommend that you don't turn your voicemail off unless required so by your administrator. To the right of that is your dial pad. This will allow you to navigate through some of the other features in the system that you'll see in just a moment. Here you have your phone or exit button. From any screen that I'm on, I can press my phone exit button to return to my default screen. I also have a menu button. My menu allows me to adjust things like my screen and sound, call settings, applications, and some more advanced features. Below that are my contacts. This gives me my directories. 
you'll see the arrows pointing right and left. That allows me to use this to scroll right and left. I had an all directory, a personal directory, an external directory, and a users directory. Users are the users in the system itself. Your external are numbers stored inside the system that everyone has access to. Your personal are speed dials that you put in there yourself. And all gives you all. In order to go through that, you can hit the down arrow key and that will begin to give you information. I can hit my phone exit to return to the main screen. Below that is my call log, and you'll notice that this light is red right now. That means that I have new calls in my call log that I haven't looked at. If I press my call log, I can scroll through all the calls that have called me recently. I can get details on those calls, what time they came in, what the duration was, so on and so forth. I could also add them as a contact. If I choose to add them as a contact, it asks what name I want to store, what my number is in the directory, Below that is my redial. If I hit the redial key, I get to choose between a lot of the people that I've called recently, and if I want to call one of them back, I just hit call. Phone exit to return. Speakerphone turns the speakerphone on and off. My hold button puts calls on hold. Conference we've been over, transfer we've been through, and the drop key, as we've shown you, hangs up a call or removes somebody from a conference. Here you have your mute button, your headset button, and your volume buttons. Your volume button will adjust the volume of your ringer. It will also adjust the volume of your speakerphone if you're on speakerphone, and the volume of your headset if you're on a headset. The buttons to the side are your programmable buttons. The bottom two will always be your intercom buttons, followed by your outside lines. The remaining buttons can be programmed by your administrator. Here we have extensions 11, 12, and 13 programmed for intercom. This will show if those phones are on the phone, will also allow us one touch access to those individuals. We also have a do not disturb button that we can turn on and off. Above that on occasion, we'll program a voicemail button. This can be used instead of visual voicemail to get you into your mailbox and is a shortcut to intercom 777. Voicemail transfer button, if you'd like to use that instead of your messages button. And your page button, which pages all the phones. If you were to press that, you would hear a beep and your voice would come out through all the phones in the office. Just up to the right of that is your message waiting indicator. Should you have a message, that will be indicated right there with a flashing red light. That concludes your Vodacall Avaya end user training. We hope that you've enjoyed and we thank you for watching. If you need anything else, you can reach us at support.vodacall.com.